This is Malbec, and um, actually I'm kind of glad to see that there's a little bit of hens and chicks in this uh, particular block of grapes because Malbec can also be a very compacted cust cluster if all these berries were the same size and uh, sizing it together because they are going to be very large berries and the clusters can be very, very uh, thick with fruit and we have to be careful sometimes some bunch rot or immature flavors within the center of the clusters. So I think that because we have a lot of airflow around a lot of these berries, we're going to be in good shape. The difficulty would be for a winemaker or a field sampler to take a representative sample to determine when is the exact time to harvest this fruit. And so in this particular incident, I would recommend a cluster sampling versus individual berry sampling. And that way, with the whole cluster randomly selected through the vineyard, it would be more of a composite of the actual uh, maturity factors within the, the vine than coming through and being subjective and just taking individual berries, because obviously that is not going to be a subjective uh, sampling, and there's a lot of room for air, especially for flavors and brown seeds. Generally, uh, if we had a large, large crop, when we hit 80% of verasion, that means color change or berry softening, we would call that the pink stage where we would also come in and do some crop thinning to help reduce some of the uh, unevenness and ripening at that time. And individual clusters would be selected that are more green, such as perhaps this one, where it would be eliminated from the hole, or this one back in here, where there, we don't even see verasion happening even at this point in time. So this would be an example that we would call a green drop. We would just go ahead and remove that. We'd also come inside of here, where there's a lot of compacted clusters on top of each other, and eliminate shoulders, wings, and things of that nature. A shoulder, it can be considered, or a wing, it, I think they're universally utilized as terms, would be this part right here, and this would be snipped off here or whatever. Uh, again, just to try to allow as much uniformity within the the cluster itself. Uh, Malbec is notorious for having a lot of wings and shoulders, so an operation coming through to do two things at the same time. Eliminating fruit off the short shoots, that is not going to help mature. Eliminating second crop that we see out here, but as well as eliminating the wing shoulders from the primary clusters and opening up where we have a lot of fruit that's been stacked on top of each other, just again to allow for a little bit more airflow and evenness and ripening. We're looking at here is a good example again of our fungicide treatment programs where we have residue left over for protection against botrytis or mildew. Um, and again with the foggy days right now we're having is an ideal mildew event, a growing season. So we have to be proactive in our fungicide treatments and apply as often as necessary to prevent mildew from getting established. Once mildew, powdery mildew, gets started on any variety, on any part of a grapevine, it's very hard to eradicate. So the prevention is the key. And we know that this year has been a very high pressured year. There's been a lot of mildew sprays put on as well as because again of the foggy conditions that we've been experiencing and the mild days that are not even getting over 80 degrees, the potential for botrytis to actually, the botrytis spores actually, they explode within these clusters and create a bigger problem in a couple of weeks. So timing, products, getting the product into the vine around the berries is the primary thing. I'm not as concerned about spraying the upper parts of the canopy. I mean, it is part of managing our mildew programs or our botrytis program, but really, in this sense, we are harvesting grapes. We're not harvesting leaves. So, you know, if we can get 80 to 85% of all the product within the fruit zone and still manage to protect uh, against mildew up here in the upper canopy on the leaves, on the canes, that's great, but again, the focus of spring is going to be right here in this particular fruit zone, and it's up to the operator to manage the spray rig in a fashion that he's getting maximum penetration within the clusters, 
He's obeying the uh, recipe that is provided for him as far as what he's going to put in that tank, as well as focusing on being able to provide a good uh, environment for reducing mildew or eliminating mildew before it even starts. So again, basis of every mildew program is prevention, not eradication, because it gets very expensive with eradication products in time.